Oh my gosh, there's already an imposter Troy. But uh, sometimes I might pick like a wave two or wave three DLC track over a wave four, but if the any of the wave DLC tracks show up, you know what I'm voting. Yo, ZPL, let's go another stream. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe hype is real right now. We haven't had a CTGP update in a while. I really want retro mode for CTGP, but kind of waiting on that. So gonna keep the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe content coming for a bit. I do have some Mario Kart Wii vid videos already recorded. Some of them already edited, so don't worry. The Mario Kart Wii will be back. But for now, I mean, it's exciting because this game like for me, I mean, I didn't play it too much after Wave 3, so like the Wave 3 tracks still feel pretty new to me. And then you got the Wave 4 on top of that. No! No! Oh! It's okay. I actually do like this course. I just I just want a Waluigi. All right. So it's set up so you can only play 32 races max, and I think we got through 30 or 31 last stream. The only reason we didn't get through 32 is cuz we kept disconnecting. I think we disconnected 5 times total. Pretty crazy. Anyway, wish me luck, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoy the stream. Good luck in the tournament. And if you are interested in joining, it is so easy. Just go to your tournament section, and then in the description of this stream, you can see the code to get in. And we had almost a thousand entries last time, which was so fun. Oh, yeah, I just remembered all the items are super broken. So, uh, and there's no red shell. There is a blue shell, and shock, of course. I need to capitalize on all these shortcuts and just remember. Oh no, I got the blooper in first! I think it's worth it to blooper myself and get that all box. Let's see what we get. A blue shell! Okay, well, I'm gonna wait for someone to pass me here. This is so funny. Alright, now I'll throw it. <laughs> this meta is gonna be weird, guys. I feel like because we can use the same code and change the custom items every single time that is an incredible feature by nintendo and i'm going to be taking advantage of that and probably changing it every single time honestly oh I think we're getting third, second place. Yes. Oh, <laughs> it's a full speed game. It's gonna feel like you're playing a uh, time trial catch up mode. I mean, you know, getting mushrooms in first all the time. The fact you can get the blooper in first is funny. I actually really like that. It's gonna balance the game out. And the fact you can pull the blue shell in first is like, oh no, <laughs> this is gonna be a weird event today. I don't know how we're gonna feel about this after 32 races, but like I said, one of the things that has got me so excited for doing the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tournaments is the custom item mode. I should have done this back in January, but we're getting to it now. I feel like Wave 4 like really brought the hype back for the game. Wave 3, in my opinion, was carried by the custom item mode. Wave 2 was better than Wave 3, but Wave 4 is the best wave yet. So, you know, we have the accumulation of tracks. Like Each wave has the advantage of all the other waves combined with it. I mean, I can't wait to see what we get for wave five and wave six. Maybe Nintendo has a few more tricks up their sleeves. Since when does dry bones have gloves? <laughs> you guys crack me up. Am I crazy or are there no reds? There are no reds at all. There is a crazy eight, but to my knowledge, the crazy eight will only include, no, no, who keeps picking these horrible, Anyway, the Crazy 8, it only, I think, can show the blooper, the star, the mushroom, whatever items I've already included in the custom item set. So I'm pretty sure you won't even see a red shell on the Crazy 8. So, should be no red shells today. There should be plenty of blue shells, plenty of mushroom dodging. It's gonna be fun, guys. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really tough. The competition, you saw how close that first race was. And we got a bagging track here, but is it really a bagging track when all the trailing items are gone? And actually, one of the reasons I decided to get rid of all the trailing items is because there's just so much lag on 200cc. I feel like I'm getting hit by things that are nowhere near me. Like, I'll be like two cart links behind the person in front of me trailing a green shell, and then the green will just collide with me out of nowhere, and then I'm just sad. So I didn't want to feel sad anymore, so we got rid of all the bad slash overpowered items, depending on how you want to look at it, and now we just have all the fun items. Most of the fun items, I should say. We're doing lots of shortcuts today. Shortcut Cart 8 Deluxe. All right, that works. It's hard enough just to control the vehicle on 200. It's crazy. 
Oh! Out of control. I'm actually gonna go for the item. Let's see if this is worth it. Pretty good. Such a close race. Oh, we didn't get the item there, and the shock happened. Alright, it's gonna be a tough one. We're in the middle. I really need this double box. Got it. Oh, I landed in the deep off-road. That's really bad. I gotta use a mushroom here. I'm actually gonna go for the box here instead of the shortcut. Nice, that's a good pull. I think I got fifth, no. All right, sixth place, finished right in the middle. Not one of my favorite tracks, I'll tell you guys that much. I'd say it's like in the middle for me. I know a lot of people really like it, but I was hoping for the DLC. The DLC taunted me two races in a row. We already didn't get enough DLC last time, so. Oh, three really good tracks. Well, this one I don't like as much as these two, but I think I'm gonna go Shroom Ridge. Nice, people are going Berlin. People do not like London Loop very much. Right as I say that, someone votes it. <laughs> but I feel like it's one of the least talked about city tracks. Did you see Mario Kart Tour added Dry Dry Ruins? That means we can get Dry Dry Ruins for DLC. Yeah, so, I mean, we'll talk a little bit of spoilers with Mario Kart Deluxe Wave 5 and Wave 6. So, as we all know, Mario Kart Tour has like every retro, pretty much. It's got a ton of them and they find their way onto 8 Deluxe eventually. Not all of them, but most of them. So, we pretty much know that we Rainbow Road is gonna be in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Like, that one is gonna be Wave 6 final track, let's be honest. But then, apparently there's gonna be two more Wii tracks. So I'm thinking Koopa Cape, Dry Dry Ruins. Those are my predictions. We get Koopa Cape and Dry Dry for the last two. I think that would really round things out quite nice. I mean, unfortunately it doesn't look like we're gonna get Wii Bowser's Castle, one of the best tracks. But if we got Dry Dry Ruins, I would shed a tear, literally. Imagine getting like Dry Dry Ruins and DK Mountain, and, like Dino Dino Jungle. Oh, I'd be so happy. We need more Double Dash tracks. That's how I feel. Because Waluigi Stadium, incredible. Oh, oh. This is craziness. There's a blue shot already. Wow. All right, where is it? Two blue shells. I'm breaking. All right, we're doing cut. Wow, that actually worked. I need to get an item immediately. Blue shell will come any second, I'd imagine. Nice. All right, once again, in this awkward position of holding a blooper in first. I got the bullet in first. Well, I'm gonna hit the car, so I have to use it, but oh my God. Nice. Oh, I didn't dodge, but I'm still happy about that. Okay, well, this is quite funny. How dare you. I can't see. I can't see. All right, we got an item. That's good. Get wrecked, Jordan. Back in first. Double mushroom, beautiful. Whoa. That's really bad. We're good, we're good. Oh. Use it, go, go, go. I can still get third. Gotta beat this other dry bones. Nope. Fourth place. It's funny, like the, I feel like people don't really do the air vent cut that much on 150, but on 200, it is really popular. We got proper uh, Brie, I don't know. Brie Shin, I don't know. Uh, yo, Troy, you think they might add new carts in DLC? I wish they would add new vehicles. I feel like, that ship is sailed. I feel like they're not going to do it. I thought they would after wave one. I was like, oh, they're going to definitely add characters and vehicles. And they did get to characters eventually. But imagine they just like drop the Flame Runner and Funky Kong in wave six. People lose their minds. Imagine my reaction. Also, how I feel about the Cat Cruiser so far. Still getting the hang of it. Uh, definitely a little bit different than what I'm used to, but I do like it a lot so far. It's a little bit longer, 
and it controls it controls pretty well i mean i think it has the same stats as the uh the the teddy buggy i think so not 100 percent on that one i want funky kong oh i'd be so happy if funky kong gets in i give it like a 60 percent chance i mean if there's only five characters that get in I could, I could name five that are not Funky Kong that have a pretty decent shot, but if we get more than five extras, I give it a really good chance. Whoa, I didn't get the super bounce. That sucks. All right, I'm very excited to play this track, though. This is the worst lap of Mushroom Gorge. All right, here we go. Bullet Bill, please. <laughs> no way. All right, we're going to give the shock dodge to the dude in front of me. I'm using this. Oh, that was just in time. This looks so cool. Drop. Fine. No gap cut here. That's okay. Let's get out of the off-road. Let's use a mushroom. I'm gonna use both, let's see what happens. Tri oh, four more mushrooms? Beautiful. There we go, that's what I was trying to do last lap. Third, I'll take it, let's go. The beautiful thing about Mario Kart, lap one matters so much less than lap three. So even though it looked like I was gonna get 13th place after lap one, we managed third. Doing pretty solid here. Look at this. 39, 38, 38, 38. Like us three are just going dead even. It's been a good start to the tournament. I have di like very different expectations for myself playing this game on 150 or 200 versus Mario Kart Wii. I finished top six. I'm happy. Get the winning music. That pretty much sums it up for now. I think I'm going to rock this combo the whole time too. Beautiful. Could we get Pauline, maybe? Hammer Bro, PD Piranha, Diddy Kong. Might get Cranky Kong, because he's in the movie. Who else is going to be in it, for sure? I've seen people talk about Nabbit on Twitter. I think Funky Kong's got, like I said, a little over 50%, so... There's gonna be some sad people though if there's only five extra characters. I know there's a lot of characters that people want in the game and it feels like the character roster should be so much bigger when the track list is so gigantic and Mario Kart Tour's character list is so big. But we'll see. M imagine Nintendo just drops uh, 60 more characters at the end of Wave 6. Like every, every single outfit in Mario Kart Tour, every missing character just drops them all. Like page two characters or whatever. That would be so amazing. That's what I would do if I were Nintendo. Just give like 60 free characters. Okay. Look at the variety in this room, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. This is not the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe you guys remember from 2017 to 2022. It's a different game out here now. Feels like you could literally use anything with how balanced the game is. Even the Mercedes GLA stuff is like not that bad anymore. Yo, Professor Yoshima, brand new member, welcome. Thank you so much for the support. Hope you're enjoying the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And wow, I just missed the chain. Fail. Oh, we got this. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to hop down this. I think that's the way to go. One of the best changes Nintendo made, keeping the glider after the shock. Beautiful. Oh, major error. Wrong place at the wrong time there, but we're still doing well here. I mean, first is right there, the dry bones. Lots of dry bones in the room, love to see it. Also, I think what I'm doing is not the right play here. I'm pretty sure I should have glided over that, especially on 200. All right, let's get the trick. Fun.
No! I just got it. I was like gonna use it for the shortcut in a second. That sucks. I should have spammed my item. And now I look back and I pay the price. This is not good. Let's see if I can still get a decent spot here at the end. Wow, I still got fifth. <sighs> I was bracing myself for 10th place after I hit the boulder like an idiot, but here we go. Fifth place, still managing good spots. Top six every single race, we'll take it. Getting warmed up here. Let's see. <laughs> You're, it's about time I become a member. LOL, I mean, hey, it's only my second stream, so. If anything, I appreciate you becoming a member so early. Before this, I don't think I streamed on YouTube for like at least three years. I remember I streamed on YouTube, I think once in 2020, maybe like late 2019 or something. And then Twitch like messaged me and was like, you're not allowed to stream on YouTube. And I was like, oh my gosh, but they don't have that rule anymore. So I think they probably got a lot of flack for that. Sebastian with the $10. Loving all the Mario Kart 8 content lately. Thanks for all the great entertainment. Yo, Sebastian, thank you so much. Yeah, it's actually been a lot of fun because the game feels fresh again. The tracks, we just keep getting more amazing ones, one after another. Not like this track, I do not like this one. But overall, the DLC has been much, much better than expected, especially after wave one. I kind of felt like it was all gonna be wave one level and then they just uh, keep upping the game. So I'm gonna keep playing this game this whole year. No question. And then we'll see how things look in 2024. I, I hope this game gets more DLC. I think it could go through another uh, six waves, honestly. All right, got, I gotta focus. This is, this is not one of my best courses. That is what I've learned over the last couple weeks. That works. And we're getting the double nice, and I think it's better to go this way. Mm, where are we landing? Whoa! Whoa! Okay, let's get back on the main road here. Let's not get too carried away. Good. Kind of out of control. Missed the double locks, and I did go for it. I'm just using this because I lost my star last race. But that was not when you're supposed to use the star. I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna dive down. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Wow. I always get lost there, but I found my way out of the forest. I'm getting blue. Oh, okay. So I somehow avoided that. Amazing. Miracle after miracle. I'm in a great spot. Yes. I think I'm having so much fun with this game right now because there's no red shells that's got to be it third place nice it is kind of hard to catch up from the top spots but the blue shells do help sometimes you get a flurry of them so it does make it unpredictable but that that is equivalent to first place for me I'm not worried y'all I've had so many bad finishes on that one. Especially the glider section is so depressing when you miss the last item set. That's what's been keeping me excited for each wave. And personally, I don't care about Mario Kart 9 at this point. For me, it's like, I'm, I'm just realizing that like, seeing them actually put care into the game, I'm like, this game can go quite a ways. Just like Smash Ultimate had DLC for years, so. I think Smash Ultimate had consistent DLC for at least three years. So they could definitely do another year of DLC. Who knows? Just speculating. But I imagine they're making a lot of money off Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass at this point. Yo, Pedro J, thank you for the $10. Dry Bones gang, you know it, my friend. Can you believe they buffed Dry Bones? It was such a W wave for me personally. They buff Dry Bones, they add the shortcut in that I criticized them for not having on Berlin Byways. And then DK Summit double shortcut works. And then we get Waluigi Stadium. Like, oh, what a great wave. It was just like, and then, and then rebalancing everything, like going online and not seeing 11 Waluigi Wigglers and I'm the only Donkey Kong, which is how it was most of the time. Like that's been really refreshing. So it's great. Nintendo definitely has been doing a good job overall. Although I do feel bad for the time trial scene. 
because I know that that made things really complicated. Just the fact that all the vehicles got changed like that overnight and then all the world records just get beaten immediately. Oh, I missed the double. You can pull a star in first? I guess I shouldn't be surprised considering I got the bullet in first earlier, but I'm still surprised. We're using this. I'm out of control. Come on! I mean, I forget. People can just look at the minimap in this game and figure out how to not dodge someone. I'm sure they're probably just like, okay, he's out of a star. Time to use the shock. That's actually a smart way to play the game. But I'm not used to that. Considering Mario Kart Wii does not have the star power on the minimap. There we go, that works. Good thing I used that mushroom. Oh, here we go. Yes! Oh! Second! Just barely! Let's go! Oh, that track is so exhilarating. It just brings the hype every single time. It's so curvy. You never have like those long straightaway moments where you can relax. Not on Yoshi Circuit, not on 200cc. Having trouble joining lots of errors. No! That happened to me last time. I'm really hoping that there's not too much of that. So far, so good for me. I've, I've been playing these races no problem. I think we played probably six or seven of them at this point. Yo, we also had Florian with the dollar donation. I missed that one earlier. Shouts to Florian. That was, that was about 15 minutes ago. Thank you. <laughs> Free boredom. <laughs> Mario Kart Wii, let's go. I think people just associate my channel with Mario Kart Wii at this point to where if they see TWD98 live video anything, it's just assumed it's Mario Kart Wii and that would be for good reason. But we're going to keep the Mario Kart Wii streams on Twitch. So I will be back on Twitch. This isn't permanent YouTube. But my Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I'm going to do on YouTube. How much longer are you streaming? Mpex, what is up, my friend? I'm streaming for an hour and 34 minutes and about 30 more seconds. <sighs> that is exactly how long I'm streaming. Because that is how long these tournaments go. They're two-hour tournaments, 32 races total, 200cc. Hopefully you don't get disconnected too much, too many errors. Hello from France. Thanks for staying up late watching the stream. How's it going? Dry Joe Ruins for Wave 5. Pow, don't get me hopeful, but yes, please. Also, making really good time right now. 26 minutes in, already on race 8. Should be able to get through 32 in time, unlike last stream. So I'm really excited about that. Look at that. First place, we had an inside drift bike, or hybrid drift, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Birdo Yoshi bike. Really cool combo. And we love to see the variety. On 150cc, I've been loving using Link and uh, Mr. Scooty lately. Uh, I'm gonna blooper myself. It is the next level combo. I'm using this because the blooper was too powerful. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so fun. I guess I'll wait till a blue shell. Blue shell where? <laughs> no blue shell. There it is. Let's try to get this guy in it. I think I think I got Jaxi. Yes, maybe. I'm not sure. It was close. No, never mind. He's he's right behind me. Definitely missed. Might as well use my blooper to double up the bloopers. Nice. Beautiful. Got a star in first. This is more fun than last tournament. I think I just love not having red shells. That's really all it is. Wow. Bam! First place, and look at this. Top three dry bones. That is the race you've been waiting for. 
Dry Bones, Mario Kart Wii Track, Bam Shock Dodge, first place front run pulling broken items. This is a good time, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't joined yet, turn on your Switch and try to stop the new Dry Bones meta. Quadra, Dry Bones action. Top four Dry Bones. Let's go. <laughs> I love to see it, guys. I love to see it. Do you think DK Mountain will come in wave five or six? I, I say 50% chance because it's in Mario Kart Tour. The rule is it has to be Mario Kart Tour. That's why we knew that DK Summit was going to... That's why we knew DK Summit was going to be in it. I mean, I didn't think it would have the double shortcut. I really did not expect that. I thought it would probably have the single shortcut and that was going to make me excited. I was ready to react to the video and be happy about the single shortcut and be a little sad about the double shortcut. And instead, just pure shock. Pure shock and awe. Childhood favorite food. Pizza. Easy answer. Do you like Waluigi Pinball? Yeah, I like Waluigi Pinball, but it's not like one of my favorite tracks. Like it's like a it's like a B B tier track. Like it's pretty good. It's like probably on the upper half, but I know for a lot of people, like Waluigi Pinball is their favorite track. And I remember in Mario Kart DS, I feel like everyone you asked, it was always Waluigi Pinball. While for me, my favorite track in Mario Kart DS was Delfino Square. Yes! This is one of my favorite tracks. Nintendo nailed this this remake. They also did a really good job on uh, D, uh, GBA Mario Circuit, uh, GBA Ribbon Road, not Cheese Land. Cheese Land and Sky Garden, not my favorites. Not a fan. Okay, we gotta be careful on this shortcut. Gotta not, no, 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 no! Yes! <laughs> I don't know if that counts as making the shortcut. I don't think that counts. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> Oh, terrifying lap. I gotta use this later. Beautiful, that is so much better. The penguin is really trolling me here though. Beautiful, got the chain, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna hit the wall. No, no, we're good, we're good. Okay, I can do shortcut now. I got such a weird bounce, I didn't even get close. Wow, I'm still in fifth, that's really good, hang on. This game takes no skill, third place, let's go! <laughs> Let's let's review the 200cc shortcuts. By the way, that shortcut for me is so much easier on 150. On 200, I always plunge into the, the frozen tundra. So, anyway, lap one. The most epic save of all time. Granted, it was completely useless because we had to slow down so much that we might as well have fallen off. Lap two, perfect shortcut. That is what we wanted. Lap three, I bounced and I got no, I got no air at all. Yo, we got Poofesher in the room. Let's go. <laughs> Probably not Poofesher, but let's go. Maybe it is. You never know. So, uh, anyway. Still, still having a good time. Getting extremely lucky. Dodging shocks. Feels like I can't have a bad race if I try at this point. Even when I make epic failures lap three, we're still podiuming. This is great. I gotta read this donation real quick. This is a great question. We got Jay Gubbs over here. Yo, Troy, in no order, your top five favorite seasons of Survivor and your top five favorite Survivor winners. Oh my gosh. There's literally 44 seasons of that show, so this is a hard task. My my favorite Survivor winner is, is Tony. And Tony, I don't wanna spoil anything about the show, actually, for people who like the show, people watching the show, but, but obviously, you know, if you've seen enough Survivor, you probably know Tony. So I'd say Tony, my favorite winner, and Survivor uh, Kagayan, which is season 28, my favorite season. And as for a top five, that's really tough. I like uh, Pearl Islands, and I like Survivor uh, Fans vs. Favorites, like the first one. And then uh, Heroes vs. Villains. So th those ones stand out to me. I think that's only four. See, I got 
28, season 28's Kagai Kagayan, and then we have, yeah, Pearl Islands, Heroes vs. Villains, Fans vs. Favorites. I have to think on that last one. Oh, oh, Survivor Philippines. There, there's your top five. Got five. I I've seen every season of Survivor. I actually started watching it when I was five years old, so. It's pretty crazy that the show is still on. It's one of the shows that has stood the test of time. We're throwing it. That was crazy. I don't understand the physics in this game sometime. Like, I don't even know what happened there, but that was crazy. Might as well blooper myself right now. This is terrible. Just a bad sequence of items and events. We need this double box. I'm slowing down for it. Okay. Through the magical forest. No! I feel like I did that ending pretty well. I mean, the U-turns are really tough on 200, but hey, I mean, at least you get five points for eighth place in this game. And we hit 98, which is the most important part. Yeah, so those are my top five Survivor Seasons. And that was a really hard question, honestly. And if I thought about it more, I might change my mind, but. And I have only seen the first two episodes of the new season, so don't spoil anything for me. Good morning from Australia, yay! Australians made it to the stream, let's go. I try to stream at a time where everyone can watch, but that is very tough to do. Sun Shalot with the $5 dono, thank you so much. Hey TWD90, I found your channel a couple weeks ago, love the content you have here on YouTube. Oh, I appreciate it so much. You know, normally I'm doing Mario Kart Wii 90% of the time, but recently it's been 100% Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because of the hype. I mean, it's literally the most hype the game has been since release. That's really surprising, honestly. No. I don't, I, this is one of my least favorite tracks. I get so bored on this one. We almost played Ninja Hideaway. Look at, we're getting the Australians in the room right now. This is great. And we're on race 11 already. Fantastic. Carson for season 44 winner. That's a good pick. He's like a, what is he, a NAS, NASA engineer or something like that? I feel like he's got a decent shot. Let's see. That did not work at all. Gonna go for the double box. Nice. Got missed the double. Did not expect to get the coins. Kind of unfortunate, didn't get the item. Just looking at the minimap, trying to see if there's gonna be a blue shell. There, I did that much better that time. Lap one, I kind of botched it. All right, we're good. Uh, okay, I keep missing the set. You don't want to miss item sets in this game. I really need to make sure I get this box. There we go. I'm just completely out of control right here. Wow, I'm very happy with fourth place. I do not like that track. I do not know how to race it very well. Fourth place, we will take it any day. I must say, that is a perfect beef boss me. I think the beef boss is supposed to be a lowercase, but otherwise, the actual me itself is flawless. Oh, this is this is a really tough choice. Someone wanted Waluigi Pinball earlier. Noah Delask with the $5 donation. What's your favorite Pokemon, Gen? Gen 3. And then I would probably say Gen 5. Or Gen, Gen 2, maybe? I don't really play the newer games. I, I, I played Pokemon Sword and Shield, but I'm much more a fan of the older Pokemon games. I'm from Montreal. Is Dry Ruins still your favorite track? Yes. 
What is your thoughts on Coconut Mall? Coconut Mall is pretty fun in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I, I like it. I like what they did with it. But if you're talking about Mario Kart Wii, then definitely one of the top half tracks. Like it's it's really good in Mario Kart Wii. It's a tough track though in Mario Kart Wii. I just wish the the top route had more use. It's not really good in Mario Kart Wii at all unless you're playing 200 CC. But yeah, my favorite Pokemon game was Pokemon Emerald. That's the one I put the most like hours into. Alright, I see some familiar faces from last week, which is cool. And lots of dry bones. Whoa. Finally, an opportunity to dodge a blue shell. Let's go. And we're getting double. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we have to use this. That was not good. We got the boss right behind me. Pretty good pulls. Let's see what we get. That works. Oh my gosh, what are these items? Is it faster to hop like it is in Mario Kart 7? Hop, hop. <laughs> what are these items? Kinda wanna save these for a blue shell. Don't see anything on the minimap. I'll just use it now. Still got the star. Wow, why did I even waste my time with that? That, that goes nowhere. Bam, bam, perfect gameplay, shock dodge. Oh, this is fun, this is fun. This is what we like to see. This is what we like to see. How many blue shell dodges was that? Let's go. This is the new way to play 200cc for the tournaments. No red shells was my best idea ever. And, you know, a lot of people were asking for no red shells after last week. And a lot of people were saying that 200cc sucks because of all the trailing items. And I took those things into account. We got rid of the bananas. We got rid of the green shells. We got rid of the boo and the red shell. The triple reds were already gone on week one. But we are, it is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with only eight items. That is the theme of today. Greetings from Netherlands! What is your favorite game franchise after Mario Kart? Oh, I'd have to say Super Smash Bros. Definitely Super Smash Bros. after Mario Kart. I'd say those two were like way far ahead of everything. And and then I would go for either uh, Pokemon or uh, the 3D Mario games in general. Top three Rainbow Road soundtracks out of every Mario Kart. I think Mario Kart 7 might have the best Rainbow Road music. I really like Mario Kart 7 and I really like Mario Kart Super Circuit Rainbow Road. And then and then Mario Kart 64. I would say those are the top three. So 7, uh, Super Circuit, and Mario Kart 64 for Rainbow Road soundtracks. Hey Troy, Cheap Charger World Record channel. Oh, that's really cool how that exists. Watching your YouTube channel since 1948 and I've been loving the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe content. I remember when you were playing Super Donkey Kong Kart with the Nintendo cards. You know what's funny is I've actually uh, seen the Nintendo trading cards building where Nintendo originally founded like 100 years ago. Uh, it's in uh, Kyoto and it's this tiny little building, tiny little shack with a little plate on it that says Nintendo trading cards. It's so funny. And then the, their current headquarters are also in Kyoto, I'm pretty sure. Why are we playing this twice? I've had enough cheese land for the rest of the decade. Alright, let's get the double box at least. Alright, single box. We'll take it. Oh, that was good. I'm not gonna trick, I have too much speed.
There we go. Whoa! Oh! This is madness. This is absolute madness. Pure focus. Oh! Oh my gosh. Um, excuse me, game. You always do this to me. You troll me with these items. Yes! The bullet does the shortcut! Oh my gosh, I did not even know that. I literally jumped into the offer, ready to be disappointed, ready for the bullet to go back to the mainland, curve around one corner, drop me on the jumps, and get fourth place. That's what I, I was expecting. But instead, the bullet did exactly what I wanted it to do. That never happens in this game. Normally, I'm very disappointed with the bullets. That, that literally made my day. All right, so I was very upset to have to play Cheese Land again, but that really worked out. We got Harry Howes with the $2.79 Canadian dollars. Nothing better than late night. TWD. I'm imagining maybe we got someone from Toronto here or like Quebec because it's not late in Vancouver, but I love that you guys are here from all over the world. We got Australia, Europe. Uh, last stream, someone from Dubai was in here. So it literally every time zone covered at this point. So cool. This is, guys, this is going so much better than last stream. I don't want to jinx it. Knock on wood. But we, we have not had a single disconnection, and we haven't even had to spectate any races. It has just been smooth sailing, just enjoyable the whole time. It's been loving it. Why am I using the Cat Cruiser? Uh, I think I'm just going to use something different every time, just for fun. I, f I feel like there's enough different combos in the game where you could use a different combo for the next 100 years, and there's still viable ones that you haven't tried yet. <laughs> but... I think my favorite combo right now for 150 is Mr. Scooty with Link, and then for 200, it's Dry Bones and the Bitty Buggy. I don't think this quite eclipses the Bitty Buggy, but what can eclipse the Bitty Buggy? That is the GOAT vehicle. We did the Mario Kart poll, everyone voted Bitty Buggy, no surprise. Granted, the, the Teddy Buggy though, the Teddy Buggy's pretty good now. Oh. Uh... Alright, I mean, we're on a little winning streak, I need to pull this together. No box. Let's get the coin. Missed the coin. Missed everything. We got zero coins and no item. And we still no item. <laughs> Great. We need some blue shells. Guys, I clicked drift and I got no drift. Very disappointed. Terrible. All right, let's get the mushroom. Beautiful. Let's get the double box. We're still in it, sort of. Let's go. Flew too close to the ice cream cone there. All right, maybe we could just dodge the shock and win. Even though we've made all the mistakes in the book this race. Nice pull. I need the blue. Let's see if I could do this right. That was better. I mean, no one really got hit with anything. There's no big shake-ups shake on that race. I just fell way too far behind. I think I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to drift. Yeah, I'm supposed to drift off it and then release my my main turbo. I was releasing my main turbo too early. Ooh, I like dry dry desert a lot. Does pirate ship have other carts with the same stats? I have no idea. There is a website for that though. It like shows all the parts. You can compare them to other vehicle parts. It's really cool. Jericho broke the no glitch Rainbow Road bike BKT using the shooting star today. 
Wow, how close is that to the car world record? That's really cool. Shooting star officially greater than Flame Runner and Spear on 150cc Rainbow Road. Look at that. That's awesome. I love watching the shooting star on Rainbow Road. It looks it looks like it's made for that track. Do you recognize Vincent? He holds Mario Kart World Records. There's a Vincent and Mario Kart Wii. There's a couple of them that have world records. I think there's one in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I'm not too familiar with the world record scene in this game. I know who Alberto is. <laughs> and I know Artat. And like I said, my, my knowledge is not very, <laughs> very heavy on the world records. Um, Army. I remember Army. Army had a ton of world records. I really want to see Blake get the world record on this game for DK Summit. He's had the Mario Kart Wii DK Summit world record for like a decade now. I'm just going to spam these. Let's see what we get. Not bad. Uh oh, that was bad. All right, we're still we're still living. Not pretty though. Which box is he going for? We're getting that one. Nice. Very happy with second on that track. That's another track I'm not very good at. I usually do not have top Top level races on that one. <laughs> Someone's name is Hey Troy. Is this the Mario Kart Wii Vincent? Like the Royals Gualmine Vincent? Is this a different Vincent? I'm not sure. Does Jack still play this game from the Wii U days? I'm I'm not sure if Jack still plays. To, to be fair, I'm not actually taking a break from TTs. I'm only focusing on my current world record tracks since I don't want to go through every track again with the new meta. Hang on, let me, let me go to the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe world record website, one second. Yo, Vincent holding it down for America here on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We have Technical and Vincent with the most world records for America in this game. That is awesome. Yo, Vincent, welcome to the stream. We got technical here too. Oh my gosh. Let's go. All right. Don't judge my skills too harshly, guys. I really am still trying to figure out the physics engine in this game. But I've definitely reacted to your guys' world records at this point. I guarantee it. Definitely technical. I've seen technical's name, I think, on Mushroom Gorge. I feel like you guys have probably set so many world records at this point. Half the tracks. <laughs> but yeah, I can imagine like if you're playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe time trials for years and then there's such a crazy shift like that, it's gotta be a little bit demotivating just knowing that they could shift the stats again next wave. So it's like you probably are just like, okay, like how much time do I wanna invest when things could shift again, you know? Definitely a weird situation. I mean, you know, I play Mario Kart Wii and that time trial scene has just been Funky Kong Flame Runner for so long, and then recently we've got Outside Drift Bike World Records, but it's just it's just weird to see like all the vehicle parts and characters change based on just on Nintendo being like, okay, we don't want Waluigi Wiggler anymore. We're gonna do whatever we can to get rid of it. So weird. Wow, I got passed by everyone. I'll take fourth though. That's good. Fourth on Sky Garden is good. I'm still finishing at the top half. It feels more like we're doing like a like a time trial one try, almost like a time trial online speed run when you're playing this game mode here, since there's such a lack of items that can hit you and you're just getting speed items the whole time. Oh yeah, it's been crazy for the TT scene. I have a lot of opinions on it, both good and bad. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I could imagine how complicated it would be for you guys because you guys have to decide like, how to handle world records considering they're all getting beaten at rapid pace like that. 
Have you seen Stranger Things? I've seen every episode of Stranger Things. I actually got to go to, um, they had like a really cool Halloween maze at Universal Studios a few years ago and it was Stranger Things themed. It was one of the best like mazes I've ever been in. I don't know if they do it every year, if it was just for that year, but I remember just, I was super impressed. And uh, yeah, definitely recommend that show. I'm pretty much over half the chat has seen it at this point, I'd imagine. I think they still have, what, one, one more season to go? Maybe there's another season after? But, I mean, the show just doesn't come out enough. It takes so long to make episodes. There's so much special effects. All the Demogorgons. Yo, we got Sydney Sprint. Let's go. All right. Got to shake off that last race. I mean, well, we got, actually, we got fourth last race. That was, that was decent. We haven't had any, like, catastrophically... Terrible races. First place has a bullet. Okay. It's going to use the bullet. Oh, stole my box! Come on! <laughs> Ouch. Oh, I didn't get that. Alright, we're okay. And left the double box for me. How generous. What the heck? That was not as planned. That was not as planned at all. He's gonna dodge him first. I'm just out of control. All right, the most, no, I lost a spot. Honestly, I deserve to lose a spot. I feel like I get in less precarious situations with the bitty buggy. I feel like with the cat cruiser, Maybe it's just, it's a little longer and I, I just, I hit things, I, I nick things and then I shoot into the walls. The, the bitty buggy, I feel like I have more damage control ability, if that makes sense. There needs to be a damage control hidden stat. I'm picking Rainbow Road. I don't care if we got some DLC showing. I do not want to play Mario Circuit 3 again. No, thank you. Everyone always votes Mario Circuit 3 online. Cannoli Bridge, thank you for the $5 donation. Appreciate it. Hey, TWD98 from Alabama. Love your content. Started watching this year in college. Hope to see more KO tournaments. Yes, I'm waiting for a feature from Mr. Bean that would make the KO tournament so much easier to host. So once that feature comes out, expect regular KO tournaments, which I'm excited for because we haven't been doing them this year too much. And last year was a year of KO tournaments. We did way more last year than any year. I think I started the KOs in 2019, maybe, maybe 2020. I, I, I want to say it was 2019. And then let's see here. We had Elvan with the uh, 279 Canadian dollars. Love your content. Thank you so much, Elvan. Appreciate it. Oh, wow. We're already on race 18. This is flying by, guys. This is flying by. Thank you for everyone uh, tuning in today. Just a little impromptu stream Did, didn't announce it wasn't even sure if i'd be back in time to do a stream and then i was like oh we, we gotta play the the hype was carrying over from last week and i wanted to play some more mario Kart deluxe i'm gonna record more of this tonight probably let's see let's go for the shortcut shroomless yo that worked Never mind, I failed it. I got the first half, but <laughs> yikes. Yo. Going for the double. Points.
Wow, that actually worked amazing. And I was kind of improvising there. Like in my head, I was like, is this gonna work? Is this gonna work? It's working! Figuring out the physics slowly but surely. Snagging some coins. Bam bullet build dodge. Could probably win this one. Are you serious? No! They used to have more invincibility frames in this game, I swear! Fifth place. Why am I sliding out of control so far? I'm brake drifting and everything, and I'm just shooting off the edge. Maybe I'm supposed to use the mushroom earlier, I have no idea. I think it's just 200cc shenanigans at work. On 150cc, you know, that's what the tracks were made for. Especially the original, like 36 or 32 tracks. Nice DLC showing up. Let's go. We got barely any DLC today. Like none. We need DK Summit. When will I do a Formula Car video? Hello from Poland. I've done a lot of Formula Car, it's in the mods playlist. I, I organize every single video in playlist now because it's kind of hard to search on YouTube channels. They don't display as many thumbnails. They didn't even let you search like from, like, they, they just kind of limited options over time with, with things. So I, I put everything into playlists. So I have a lot of formula car videos. I just haven't done any recently, but I could definitely bring the formula car back. There's just so many things to play. I don't have time to play it all. There's so much Mario Kart. I'm playing these tour tracks and I get lost in them more than Mario Kart Wii custom tracks. Yeah, I kind of felt that way mostly with um, London Loop and Amsterdam Drift. And then I also felt that a bit when playing Bangkok Rush. And I think it's because you're going like, like one route this way is not the right way. And then the next lap, it is the right way. And it looks exactly the same. So it's just really confusing. So I actually do agree with you. I, I, I think that some of the tour tracks they didn't do a great job of making it extremely obvious where to go compared to every other track in every Mario Kart game. Like the, the tour tracks stand out as being a little less polished for that reason. This one, however, pretty perfect redesign for what it's trying to be. I mean, it's a very simple track, but definitely does the job. Really like this one. Shortcut time. Good start. <laughs> that was fun. Nice. No, I had the bullet. At least they can't grab the bullet on the ground. That's good. You wanna pass me? Go for it. Have fun with that. I think I'm getting second. This track is hard. Second's really good on this one. Key plays when I went wide and blue shelled the guy. I think he dodged it, but then I got the double box, did the shortcut. That off-road mud shortcut's really good in the middle of the lap. So we'll take second any day on Riverside Park. That's a Mushroom Cup Super Circuit track right there. We got Cool Sonic Guy, a brand new member. Yo, DK Summit, yes! Of course Maple shows up right when DK Summit shows up, of course. Uh, but anyway, cool Sonic guy, thank you so much. Brand new member, and then we have Poop Butt. Look at these usernames. Both of you guys have a star now, and after two months, you'll have a two star badge, and after three months, three star badge, just like you completed Mario Kart Wii, and got three star rank on every cup. So thank you guys, two brand new members. And we have Elvan with the three Canadian dollars. Who's your favorite Mario Kart character? You're gonna make me, it's like choosing between children here. Is it Funky Kong? Is it Dry Bones? It just depends what kind of mood I'm in, but it's definitely between Funky Kong and Dry Bones. But 
We got Elvin in here with the hard hitting questions. We got Tonya song. Hey Troy, love your stuff. I was gonna ask if there's anywhere I can download all the music you have for Mario Kart Wii CGP. I think, what am I, am I using Mayro's music? Does Mayro have it all, all uh, available online right now? I, th I think so. I'm pretty sure I'm using Mayro's music right now. But Shadow's music pack, is, he has like four versions. That's a really good place to start. I definitely recommend checking out Shadow's music pack. And then Mayro, I'm pretty sure has custom music packs as well. All right, I gotta focus. I finally got DK Summit, I'm so excited. This is why this is the best track, right here. Oh, no, 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 no. Excuse me, DK Summit, I should have a five second lead right now, but you are just doing shenanigans. This track is nuts. Yes. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what to do, but I mean, this works. The double blooper pull kind of screwed me. No chance to dodge a blue shell. There we go. That was good. That was really good. All right, we're back in it. That is okay. Kind of worried about this bullet. No, we're good. We're good. Whoa. All right. Let's see what we can do here. That was almost the coolest cut ever, but instead, I don't know where this is going to even put me. Okay, that is not very good. And no box! This is just sad. That is just a disaster. I'll take 7th though. I mean, I thought it was going to be worse. That was so weird. I guess I should use my mushroom, but... Honestly, I thought that would work. I even clipped it. I was ready to like bounce off of it and go forward and be so excited, but... It just gave me literally no air. Shot me right into the gap. I don't know if I hit off-road or something, but... That was kind of a lame race. Exciting though. Exciting. DK Summit brings the excitement even if the races are dumb. I don't know, maybe, what direction are you supposed to hold in the air on that track? Well, we gotta go baby park. Like, I know you're supposed to skip the center on 200, mythify this style, but I don't know. See, the problem with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is there's no input viewer. And I, I don't know where to find tutorials for the whole game. It's like, in Mario Kart Wii, it's so easy. You just boot up the world record and it shows you the exact inputs. So it gives you the answer key. But in this, in Mario Kart Deluxe, you, you never know what direction everyone's pressing, especially for someone who doesn't like know the game. So I just kind of got a guess when I watch world records. I'm like, what is he doing? <laughs> it would help the game a lot if there was input viewers. Tyler Engstrom, brand new member. What is up, Tyler? Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Trying to get to these donation readings earlier compared to my Twitch streams. All right, here we go. This is so fast. I'm gonna go this way. I know it's slower, but you do get an item, which is nice. It's not that much slower. No box. It's a really early bullet though. Don't know if that was the play. Oh, first place dodge. That's an easy victory. I thought I was going to get squished and say I stole a mushroom. Oh, there's a blue shot. Okay, this will shake things up a little bit. Get the item, please, please, please. No item. Can't see anything. What? What? I got trolled? Come on. I seriously get trolled? That's so lame. 
Is someone really that far behind? That's insane. I don't think I've ever had that happen. Thank you, game, for the worst items ever. The dumbest race I've played today. Someone was so far behind they trolled me. All right, where was I? Yo, I do not know what COP stands for, but 20,000 sounds like a lot. Thank you, Santiago. Dry Dry Ruins confirmed in MKT next Wednesday tour. Let's run Riverside Park again. If we get Yoshi's Island 2, two tours later, then Dry Dry will be in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. You know what? I am hopeful, but I'm not gonna like think about it too much. Cause if it doesn't make it in, let's say they put in like Koopa Cape and Rainbow Road and then like something like Daisy Circuit gets in and, and then, you know, that would be just very sad. So we don't want to get too excited. However, when I did see the leaked screenshots on Twitter, well, not really leaked, more so just I think Mario Kart Tour's Twitter put them out, but I, I saw it, it looks really good. I, I like the cartoony style of the game, even though I'm not like a huge fan of Mario Kart Tour, like actually playing the game, like I do like the, the art style of the, of the game. So I, I did really like seeing Dry Dry Ruins reimagined and all cartoony like that. That was really cool. All right. This is the hardest track in 200cc in my opinion. So we gotta focus more than ever. Here we go. Yep, okay, already a mistake. What the heck? Just more 200cc shenanigans. Nice, slow down enough. And shortcut. I'm just going lower route to play it safe. Wow, everyone failed, we're in first. Beautiful. Nice, got the double. Just what we needed. Here it comes. I have a blue shell? Are you serious? I spammed it one too many times. Oh, I could have pulled it off and that would have been the coolest thing ever. I really did not think I spammed all my mushrooms. So hard because I had a blue shell on my first slot. Go, go, go. Yes. Second. Beautiful. I'll take second. <laughs> that was such a funny race. I, I think that's a really cool track on 200. Insanely difficult, but I do like it. All right. 216. Not too shabby. I think I got 304 last tournament so what, what do we have like 10 races left just gotta average like third place race or so yes we got amsterdam please vote amsterdam guys please 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 no no <laughs> you love getting in three player rooms it may be easy points but I would be upset if I got in three player rooms because that would be way less entertaining for everyone watching. Are there room shakeups? Yeah, every four races it, it uh, alternates everyone. What do you think the final track of the Spiny Cup is gonna be? It's gonna be Wii Rainbow Road. I'd bet money on it at this point. One of Koopa Cape and Dry Dry won't end up in this game. Well, I mean, there could be three tracks from Wii in the last two waves. That's definitely possible. I mean, think about how many tour tracks they put in. All right.
I'm sure we have some people watching from Amsterdam. Never visited the city before, but it sure looks beautiful in Mario Kart. And everyone likes to ride bikes here, which is awesome. Yo, we got technical in the room. All right, this just got serious. Can you seriously not jump that? Are you serious? That's lame. At least we didn't fail the gap part of the shortcut. Still feeling accomplished. All right, let's see. That is pretty hype that we got in the room of technical though. Did not expect that. All right, let's see. That's probably for technical, both of those. Love to see it. This is already the last lap. Well, I missed the shortcut. It is just hard to see where to go. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. Let's go. Go, go, go. Yes! Go, go, go! I think I played that so well and I only got fifth. I mean, okay, not so well, but I played it above average. I expected more than fifth. This is a tough room. Let's see. Technical has 297. We are not winning this tournament. That is for sure. That is crazy. We got Toby with the $10. I had surgery on my tailbone recently. And your MK8 Deluxe videos, Mario Kart Wii, CT Road to 99 videos. That was quite the series. And videos of Poof Fesher have helped me through the pain recovery. Thank you, Troy. Toby, I hope you heal up, my friend. Thank you so much for the support. And yeah, I mean, one of the benefits of my channel is I upload really long videos. So there's a lot of really long videos and now some moderately long streams on the channel and the YouTube shorts as well. I know some of you guys like the shorts, but appreciate that, Toby. Really happy to hear that the videos were a nice distraction during the tough times and plenty more one hour long KO tournaments, Goofy, Worldwides with Poof Fesher, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Gaming. <laughs> we got Budget Troy in the room. We got Technical. All right, all right, no, this is what we want, guys. I'm pretty sure Technical has the world record on this track, or at least he used to. I'm gonna call it right now that he has the world record. So we are facing the world record holder, Technical on Mushroom Gorge 200cc, cat cruising it with dry bones. Ouch, here we go. Beautiful, let's go. I think I need to learn how to do this track on 200 better. Seriously. I don't understand what to do in like the middle of the mushroom section. I see technical in first though. But yeah, on 150cc, I feel like I got this one down pretty well. On 200, I still figuring it out. I'm just gonna use a mushroom here. Let's see. I'm just gonna use this. Let's hope we get a dodge. I totally got that rail cut. The game just lies today. All right, I'll take it. Can the bullet do the shortcut? I'm just gonna use this. Yes, got the item. All right. <laughs> That's Mushroom Gorge. I'll take fourth. <laughs> Let's see what place Technical got. Technical still got first, despite the blue shell. Why should I be surprised? All right. I need to get a better start. Whatever happened in the middle, I don't know why, I just shot into the gorge for no reason. I drift off the mushroom and then classic Mario Kart Wii moment and Mario Kart Deluxe, just off the edge. Like, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to start your drift on the, the green mushrooms and like launch your main turbo into 
the the red mushroom and then skip two mushrooms i think that's what you're supposed to do but that's kind of hard so I, I don't really know how consistent i would be at that so i have to find like a consistent way on 200 cc to get past the mushroom section it feels like kind of luck based if i get through it without falling off right now like at 150 it's it's pretty standard yeah in the middle you trick off the green mushroom you drift in the air then you release the main turbo right before you hit the mushroom pad and then you skip a mushroom gotta figure it out Yo, Splorcher, thank you for the $5. Just wanted to show my support for you, not able to donate that much. Yo, Splorcher, and I appreciate anything. Thank you so much. And hope you're enjoying the back half of the tournament here. Got some of the highest level players in the world in the rooms. Did not expect that, really cool. And we'll see how this ending shakes out here. We definitely had a, a high point in the middle on Waluigi Pinball. But I'm hoping for a couple more good, good races. Yo, Technical, thank you for the $5, my friend. It was a lot of fun playing with you. Maybe we can play again in the future sometime if we don't again today. Technical, would be great to see you in future 200cc TWD-98 FFAs here on the tournament mode. Thank you so much, and it is a pleasure. I definitely have a thing or two to learn in this game. Also, what do you think of the format? What do you think of the item format? It's got a be pretty nice like being a time trialer playing this format not having to deal with all the shelves and all the back trail i'm kind of curious like what you think of the overall enjoyment of the format for uh for 200 because for me 200 cc always feels ridiculous whenever i play it like and that's not a bad thing i think that overall 200 is very memorable in this game and i do really enjoy it but i'm trying to find the right item set for it the most enjoyable way to play 200 and then we could just like keep it that for a bit. And then if we get a new idea, we can change it up in future tournaments. But I would like like a, a regular custom item format. So that's what we're working on right now. What are the items? The items right now, there's only eight of them on the entire roulette. One of them is the crazy eight, which almost never shows up. Then we have the mushroom, the triple mushroom, star, lightning, blooper, blue shell, and I feel like there's probably something else. I, th I feel like I only named seven. Star, lightning, bullet, blooper, mushroom, triple mushroom. Uh, there's no bomb. Almost no, no super horn either. I really want Yoshi's Island. I feel like everyone will vote Yoshi's Island. It's definitely the standout track in the, in the entire DLC. Everyone loves this one. Please take the blooper away. Well, the thing is, is almost every single item in the, the game mode dodges the blooper. Like, it's all mushrooms and stars and bullets and stuff. So, so the blooper is way less powerful in my game mode, even though it shows up a lot. And I do like the idea of being in first and pulling blue shells and bloopers, because then you have to, like, combo it with a mushroom to get rid of it. So it, it, it's just a really funny meta. It's goofy. We found a hacker, great. The item pool is a lot of fun. Actually, it allows me to just drive like the T tier I am. Yes, I, I thank you, I, I made it for T tiers. Like that was what I had in mind. I was like, I was like 200 CC is just too crazy. It feels like not fun when you just get hit by things you can't see. So I just want to not get hit. And you know, of course the shock and the blue shell, we need those, but the other shells, we don't need them. We can do without them. All right, here we go. Great track. I, come on, I got that. The game lies. Six coins already, wow. What? Okay, I have to hold down there, I guess. I didn't hold anything and I, I seriously not get the box. This is a horrible lap. Horrible lap. Guys, I just didn't press anything and I fell off. I did not even know that's a thing. I have to hold down. Almost just fell off. This is the worst race ever. I'm, it's over, it's over. It's literally over. <laughs> this has been so brutal. I don't even want to play the rest of this race at this point. 
I just can't believe I have to hold down to not die on this track. Did not know that. All right, we need a dodge. We need to dodge, please. No dodge. Pulling down, never making that mistake again. Wow. Honestly, we will take sixth place. We had no business getting six that race. At one point, we we're about 30 seconds behind, literally. So, I mean, it can't really go much worse than that. So, at least the last lap went well. I'm surprised they didn't dodge. We got Mac Johnson Media with the $5. Incredibly cool to race against you on Mushroom Gorge. Super big fan from Nebraska. Good game. Speaking of Mushroom Gorge, let's get some more Mushroom Gorge. I need to figure out this track. I still have no idea how to do the mushroom section on 200. We have ZPL, brand new member. ZPL, welcome. Thank you so much, my friend. Always a pleasure to see you. ZPL, making regular appearances on the streams. Killing it with the custom track game. And ZPL, we still have to talk about retro mode. So, I will message you because I'm very serious about retro mode. And I want to get a really good retro mode in Mario Kart Wii. It'll feel like we get the booster course pass from Mario Kart Wii. That's what we need. Please, 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 please. Mushroom Gorge, Mushroom Gorge. Never lucky. Never lucky. I'm, I'm actually okay with Baby Park. I don't hate this track. I like this one way more than Excite Bike because it's over quicker. But here we go. There's only a few races left in the stream, so i kind of sad because I did want to play Mushroom Gorge. We might not get it again today. Whoa. Go, 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 go. <laughs> this is funny. Are you serious, game? Blue shell. No. Guys, my, my TV just went off. Okay. Oh my gosh. I did not even see. I, I think you guys probably did, but my, I don't know why that happened. That's really alarming. The entire monitor just went off on the last straightaway. Thankfully it was a straightaway. The sound went off, the game went off. I was in pitch darkness. That was so scary. If that even happened a second earlier, my whole race was screwed. I pulled the bullet in first. Did I use my item? I couldn't see anything. The la like the whole last straightaway, I, I rounded the corner, I released my main turbo, and then my game just went off. Why did that happen? Oh my gosh. It's a gaming monitor, not a TV. That's why I'm like extra surprised here. What was that? Very scary guys, very scary. Code red situation. Luckily we made it to the finish line. Did I get second? I didn't even see what place I got. It went off for a solid 10, 15 seconds there. Oh, we're playing all the short tracks. We had Ninja High, we're getting all these good tracks showing up, people don't vote for them. You guys, you guys are killing me here. We do not need to play this one. I can do without this track in this game. I'm not a huge fan of this one. All right, here we go. Let's get in the first. I'm just gonna use it. Screw it. Let's get some coins. Let's get the double box. Let's get a bullet in first, please. Oh, it actually gave me a bullet in first. Here 
Excuse me. Okay, this is actually fine. I'm just gonna blue shell this guy. Did I connect? Yes, that's good. Let's go. Oh, great pull. Go, go, go! Yes! Somehow got a breakaway on that one. The best moment was when I had the blue shell in first, and then I was able just to relax. Bullet first place. Blue shell first, then bullet the new first place person. Get a breakaway. Relax. Easy race. Just absolute destruction on the race course. Pure evilness from dry bones. But I was due for a race like that. I was due for a race where things just went my way. I mean, it's so funny the items you can get in first on this game mode. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Ooh, this is tough. I want to play all of these. I like these tracks. I'm going to go Dragon Driftway, even though Coconut Mall's there, just because I feel like people like this track a lot on 200 because it's shortcut. It'd be funny if they added Funky Kong and the Flame Runner in Mario Kart Deluxe. That would be insane if they added the Flame Runner. I could really see Funky Kong being added, but the Flame Runner, very, very slim chance because I do not think it is in Mario Kart Tour. And then on top of it, Inside Drift. Nintendo seems to have gotten away from Inside Drift entirely. But I do love seeing the hype in the chat for, for Dry Dry. We had Pseudo Nim with the $5 donation earlier. Thank you so much, I missed that one. Appreciate it. I think we only have like five more races left, guys. Four more, we're getting to it. What track do I want to see most in the booster course pass? It's definitely Dry Dry Ruins. It's not even close. But I mean, I would really love to see uh, Wee Bowser's Castle and like Dino Dino Jungle. That's one of my favorites. DK Mountain would be cool. I always like seeing the Super Circuit tracks. They do a really good job with them overall. <sighs> 28th race. Okay, guys. After this, we have four more. And the overall sentiment seems to be better than last stream, not only because of the lack of disconnections, but just the, the format in general. People seem to like this more for uh, 200. Time trial format. Ah, uh, I braked, but not enough. I had to like come to a complete stop on that one. I I'm surprised the blue shell could even show up that early, honestly. This game's crazy. Where's my trick? Game, where's my trick? There we go. <laughs> yes, got the double box. Double blooper is no match. I love how you can trick off that, it's so cool. Okay. I did not expect to even go this way, but here we are. No, I was gonna use this. Wow. Oh! Wow, that was a disaster. Everyone went the top route, wow. Just a disaster of a race. All right, we got 273, we got 304 last time. It's gonna be a close call to see if we actually beat our score from last, last stream. It's gonna be really close. And it's putting us in a new room. We'll see who we get in with here. Four races to go. It seems to, it seems to work a lot better than I expected. I almost did not put the regrouping feature on. I almost kept it off because I was so frustrated at how much we had to spectate. And maybe there's just more people joining today, which is allowing for less uh, spectating and more just throwing me into rooms when they're available. I'm not sure, but wow, this is working better. And it might really just be that the servers are not as crowded, so there's less DCing because the DLC is a week old now. That, that could be why. 
But I really hope we get Bangkok Rush here. And we haven't played Singapore today. We haven't played Waluigi Stadium. Yes. Oh, if it was Exact Bike Arena, power off. That was a close one. I wonder if Coconut Mall will show up in the Mario movie. Well, we know it'll be Rainbow Road, that's for sure. I'm really excited about the Mario movie. It looks actually really good. Yes, DS Bowser's Castle. That would be an incredible addition. I don't think it's going to happen, but yeah, that would be best case scenario. Doesn't get much better than that. Excuse me, game. I drifted. Apparently not. Oh. You just like barely can stick to the track on 200. You're just flying out of control in every direction at all times, especially these new DLC courses. Okay, I got no item. I swear, there's there's not even any space between the items in this game, and I still manage to go between them. Like Mario Kart Wii, there's quite a bit of space. In this game, it's like you have to try to miss them, and I still miss them. I need a vehicle with a bigger hitbox. Nice. No idea where I'm going, but I found my way. There we go. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's just too fast. I don't have time to react. And I do not have this track down at all. It's going to be a few more months. I literally just have to look at the arrows when I play this track and not even pay attention to anything else because it's so confusing. I mean, the good news is, is I didn't even play that well. We're still going to get fourth place. We'll take it. So on 150, I have time to like figure it out. But on 200, I'm like, I'm lost. Like, it was already too late. By the time I realized where I was going to go, I was already off the edge. All right, 282. Not bad. I wonder if Nintendo has taken any note, like, on the confusion that the Mario Kart Tour tracks have created for players. I wonder if, like, they've realized that people don't enjoy them as much. Because they really do stand out as being, like, different than everything else. And just like like it feels like it's a totally different game franchise when you play those tracks And like they should make the arrows like even less transparent You can't even like see them sometimes till you get close to them Totes factory remake. Yes, that would be so hype. I don't think it's gonna happen though. Oh Come on. We don't need to play ribbon road. I've played ribbon road a million times We do not need to play ribbon road. Come on guys. All right, race 33 races to go. Let's finish strong with the Cat Cruiser and then we'll probably be on the, maybe the Teddy Buggy next time. We'll see, we'll see. Nice. works it's not going for me is it it's not going for me it's going for Matthew let's go okay we survived that that was really cutting it close what what who used that oh my gosh awful awful I'm off the edge yep whole race is done just like that I'm just having trouble staying on the track on this one. Oh my gosh. Okay, we stayed on this time. I, I'm in a star! How, how am I getting bulleted while I'm in a star? This game's so stupid. What? Oh my gosh. 
unbelievable. I still got first place. All right, we'll take it, we'll take it. But seriously, I'm in a star. I, I That was just unbelievable. What, what even happened there? All right, so we are at 297 with two races to go. And I think my total was 303 or 304 last time. So we're, let's just aim for 305, that's the goal. For the tour tracks on the lap, you're on the mini map, on the map should be the route. Oh, that, that's actually a really good idea. That That is such a good idea because that's so true. When I look at the mini map on a tour track, I don't know what's going on. There's already too much going on on the racetrack. I have about 0 0.1 seconds to look at the mini map on a 200cc race at a time. So it's like, I can't decipher the mini map that fast. I can only see if people are in stars and bullets and where the blue shell is, but I, I really definitely can't see the map. I, I just think like, they have to make the arrows and like they got to make it more uh, solid. It's like transparent and like the fact that you can even drive through those zones out of bounds, it's just turn it into walls too. Like that would help. It's the worst feeling when you take a route on a city track and it is the correct route on a different lap, but you just like, you know, like you just get grabbed and thrown in a different direction by lack of two. What was the music pack for the 200cc KO series? I have no idea. <laughs> I've used pretty much entirely Mayro's or Shadow's music packs. So, type in like Mayro music pack or Shadow music pack, Mario Kart Wii, and you'll find a lot of the music I use. And sometimes I like combine music packs together. Kind of a weird lap, but we'll take it. Nice. Preemptively went for the shortcut, ended up paying off. Love to see it. Are you serious? Am I... The blue shell takes like a million years to get to the person, and then it just happens. I didn't even see the blue shell anywhere. I did hear it, but it takes forever to get to the players. I don't know if we're going to be able to win this one. That Rosa player is really up there right now. Yes, blue shell. This might connect. Amazing. Yes, use my mushroom right before the shock. Let's go, let's go. Finish line right there. Go, go, go. First. All right. Luck was on our side that race. I did not expect to win after I got blue shelled. I, I got blue shelled in second and first place dodged. And I was like, yep, yeah, we lost. But we got another first that puts us at 312. Better than last week. Let's go. Let's try to improve every single week at 200. And this has been a very fun format. Might change it up a little bit. I'm open to suggestions. Just hit me up on Twitter if you have any custom item suggestions for the format. I'm gonna pick Sky Sunday for the last one, just cause we need a redemption race. Had a bad one earlier. Um, but anyway, the items are as follows. It's, it's mushroom, triple mushroom, crazy eight, star. And then we have the blooper, the blue shell, the bullet bill, and then I forget what I'm missing here. There's, there's one more. Did I say blooper? Yeah, something like that. It's all the fun items. Kind of. I think the biggest difference I'm noticing is just the red shell being absent, like changes the game so, so, so much. Like we also removed the, the ghost. Uh, it was in last week's. We had, we had, I don't think we had the super horn, did we? We, we might've had the super horn also. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, so I took out a few more items. But I mean, we also had like banana, green shell, and red shell, and we do not have those anymore. We took out all the OP items, pretty much. What? What? What was that drift? That was crazy. 
No idea what I did. Oh, oh I'm throwing it. Sorry, Matthew. Are you serious? I pulled two of the three best items. This is just comical. No! Oh, I dodged. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. We're chilling. Never mind. Had a preemptive freak out. We're chilling though. Six mush, six mushrooms. <laughs> you could actually get triple, triple, double triples. <laughs> triple doubles, double triples. First place. What a way to end it. Uh, what ended it on a, what, a three game winning streak. That was such a fun last few races. Luck was really on our side and ended with 327 points tied with Charizard. Maybe that'll get me in the top 20. Let's check it out. I mean, we'll probably have some more trolls on the leaderboard. We never know who truly wins these things, but it's still fun nonetheless. And just like that, the tournament is over for us and we finished early. This was so much fun. We had no disconnections at all. It just was a smooth sailing tournament. It's such a good time. Uh, once again, seven, thank you for the $2. We had Max Johnson meet up with the fives, UPL with the, the new membership. And to everyone who is a new member, you can also go to Discord. You can sync up your YouTube to your Discord. You can join in on the Bodation Nation and get in on all the fun and wait do i still have one more race to go do we still have one more maybe we have one more race i thought we had i thought that was it was that race 31 or i'm kind of curious maybe you guys know the answer but it's making me spectate if we have one more race to go i'm down i thought it would just say tournament is over we got Junip, Junip Studios with the $2. Thoughts on the new Mario Kart Wii Rainbow Road Tool Assist. I did see it and I was like trying to even comprehend like what I was watching, honestly. Um, they, I'm trying to think of what exactly they did. They really confused the game and were able to like change the checkpoint order and go through less checkpoints and finish the lap even quicker and it was one of the most ridiculous tool assists I've ever seen. I mean, people are getting really creative. It just shows that the game is nowhere near solved yet. Not even close. It's got another 10, 20 years to go before we get all the ultra shortcuts and whatnot. But yeah, GNUP Studios this is a really cool Rainbow Road tool assist that came out today. Aiden's Machines with the 550 Canadian realize it's been 10 years since the four player shortcut challenge and seven years since the last rate that custom track. I mean, Technically, we did one with uh, Justin and Red Falcon during COVID. It was called uh, Rate That Impossible Custom Track or something like that. So so technically, that was only three years ago. So Aiden, you're, you're almost right there. So you were close. But Aiden, nonetheless, I appreciate the continuous support. Thank you so much, man. We got Professor Yoshima is back with the Yoshi... Uh, the, the Yoshi icon. I, the Yoshi icon looks a little weird, though. This is like a Mario outfit for Yoshi. I can't really tell. This looks like the Yoshi is a little bit. I don't know. He, he looks like he's looking at me pretty sus. Okay, so you make me spectate and then you just troll me and don't let me play. I thought I had one more race to go. I was excited. All right. 41,608. We know who won, guys. There's the winner. We don't know if any of these other people are cheating, but we definitely know technical is legit. 414 points. Tied with Leon. 414. Third place is Scar389. Yes, we top 20 this time. Let's go. We did not top 20 last time. Looks like we got what would be equivalent to 14th place. So that's actually really good. And let's see how many people played. Uh, 676 people. So we had about 900 last time. So less this time. But I'm going to be back next week. This was so much fun. Thank you, guys. And I am happy that overall we were able to get on the top and... Seems like the hacking is inevitable. But look at that. Charizard ended up beating us. I played one more race, got first place, ended with 342. And Jaxi, we played against Jaxi. And it was a pleasure to race against Technical, who is one of the best American players in this game. So look at that. Leon and Technical tied for the top. Great Britain, America, joining forces in the Mario Kart Deluxe world. Dominating. Anyone from Japan on here or Australia? Yes, we have an Australian, Atlas. Uh, number 16. Awesome stuff. Love to see it, guys. Even got Netherlands and uh, Austria and can Canada, obviously. France. Really cool. 
All right. That is it. Still have three left. Oh, you're killing it. Well, I mean, you're going to get 480 at this point. <laughs> what time next week? So I have the tournament set up for 2 p.m. PST and to end at 4 p.m. PST. And the max amount of races you can play is 32. So you have a potential to get 480 points on the tournament. So if your name's technical, you can get 480. In your opinion, what track in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe will be the first to have an ultra shortcut? DS Mario Circuit. There's my prediction. I don't think any track will have an ultra in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Let's see here. We got Yoshima with the $5. My sister drew it for me. Yoshi just looks like like that, like giving the sus face. Like, like Yoshi is sussed out right now. I mean, I feel like I did something wrong every time I look at your avatar. And for future reference, you can just call me Yoshima. Yoshima, thank you so much. Appreciate the support. We'll see you next week for more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And... I'm probably going to record the game a little bit later tonight. So back on the Mario Kart Deluxe grind. 200cc is really fun. Next week, we might do 150. I kind of want to switch it up every single week so you don't really know what's coming. But uh, thank you, guys. Thank you so much. And I'll be back 2 p.m. PST next Saturday. That is the plan. If it's any other time, I'll announce it on uh, Instagram story or on YouTube story. And you guys will be able to know the corrected time. So thank you, guys. And I am heading out. All right, gonna go record some more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It is a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe world. We just live in it. X N D U I W. Thank you for the 220. What is Troy's opinion on Roblox? I've never played Roblox before, but I know it is incredibly popular. Thank you guys. All right, what a way to end it. We had three first places. Such a fun time. Good games, everyone.